We call for the Puget Partnership to, rely, to regularly reevaluate the action agenda based on input such as that provided during this conference so that it remains a living document responsive to new knowledge and a changing environment. We call on leaders and citizens of British Columbia to rededicate themselves to collaborative ecosystem management. And we call on the scientists and leaders from Puget Sound to collaborate with their Canadian neighbours in constructive ways, transferring knowledge gained during the action agenda planning process and exchanging this experience with the lessons learned from 15 years of ecosystem-based management efforts in the Georgia Basin. We call on our leaders to gather scientists from both sides of the international border and from Coast Salish communities to coordinate learning and gathering of knowledge about our shared ecosystem through a new science panel. This new science panel should meet regularly with each other and with policymakers so that recommendations can be adjusted as knowledge and understanding grows. They should be tasked with creating a research agenda that will enable policymakers to make wise judgments. They should also share their knowledge with citizens and educators to establish a common understanding of the Salish Sea. We call for the creation of a working group tasked with developing, refining, expanding, and using indicators of ecosystem health that are meaningful to the entire Salish Sea. These indicators must include human well-being measures that reflect our close connection to the ecosystem, and particularly the ability of native people to harvest their traditional food supplies. We call for existing transboundary government bodies to establish, within the next two years, portals that will allow the exchange of information and identification of collaborative projects on how to restore an ecosystem. Scientists, policymakers, volunteers, and resource managers need the capacity to collaborate on joint priorities, tools, data that has been collected, and lessons learned. We must tell the truth about what we do know, and we should openly acknowledge what we do not know. However, we must not use a lack of perfect knowledge as an excuse not to take sensible actions. We call for a commitment to pursue accountability and effectiveness in the governance of the Salish Sea. Ecosystem-based management means looking at the big picture and the long term, and that means more transparency in what we do. It also means fostering stewardship on a wider scale. We must work as though there are no boundaries to set priorities for protection at the level of the ecological region and encourage collaboration among scientists, planners, and decision makers at all levels of government. On Sunday night, Billy Frank stated that we should involve the people in saving the Salish Sea. We call for support for programs to educate a new generation of scientists and youth, and we recognize the need for close coordination among all groups working to inform educate, and involve the public in Salish Sea restoration. We heard examples of how people are hungry to get past the fighting, and they need to have meaningful ways to get involved through watershed councils and volunteer organizations that build local capacity. Citizen scientists collect important information, and we need to use their energy and expertise to learn and adapt. What does the future hold for the Salish Sea? particularly for the people of my generation and generations to come. If we think seven generations ahead, we're talking about the year 2163. As Billy Frank said at the beginning of this conference, we need to point the canoe in a different direction than we did seven, decades, seven generations ago. We need to paddle together in a way that is intelligent and efficient, and we need to paddle hard. Adam, could you please stand? On behalf of the authors of the document you just read, on behalf of the organizers of our, of our conference here, we want to thank you for capturing the spirit of the thoughts behind those words. 
You must be a strong young man. We hear that in your voice. We hear that in your heart. And you've been singled out by someone who's seen the promise in you. So we know that you're going to, as you're going to go through your life and learning what you're going to learn to take care of you and your family to come, that you're going to accept this as your life's work. So Hyatt's gets to see him. On behalf of the organizers, we ask you to accept this little gift to remind you of this day today. The paddle was done by Kevin Paul, a master carver. Wilakeb is his Indian name from our, our community there in Swinomish. You put that up on the wall somewhere, and every day that you get up, you'll see it, and you'll remind yourself of what, what has happened here and, and the job that you perform. So, hi, Chikasasiya, on behalf of every one of us. We want 